that was the turning point for me. I was like, I'm doing something wrong. I got to do, I got to change things up here a little bit. And I kind of in the back of my head knew. Um, so I, I reached out to a different podcast and um, I, I found Richard Bainey. <laughs> Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 375th episode of Potty Talk. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got a great episode lined up here. We got a couple of babes in the house. Uh, And a plumbing power couple at PPC. That's right. Mm -hmm. Jeff and Ann Jordan of Babe Plumbing. Yes, and they're going to be talking about um, going from a family-owned business um, to kind of out on their own, where they took the, a family business that were, was there for you know a number of years, and they, they kind of made some tur- twists and turns and made it their own. So That's right, that transition there. So I'm sure they're going to have nuggets of gold to drop and can't wait to bring them on. We're bringing them on in just a second here. Yep. But, hey, for being here, we'd like for you to, to like and follow and share this episode. Yes, please do. Like, follow, share. We are out on all of the, the platforms, Instagram, Facebook, all the places. Um, but then also leave us a review. If you're listening to the podcast, whatever podcast player you're listening on, we'd love for you to leave us us a review tell us that you love us tell us if you hate us whatever just <laughs> give us a review we just really appreciate it, it one way or the other <laughs> also because we do appreciate you we do have something for you for for joining us and that's my million dollar plumber blueprint mm-hmm. in it i lay out the exact specs you need to build a successful self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business yep. all right and it's free mm-hmm. all right it doesn't cost you anything <laughs> simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free mm-hmm. and grab your free blueprint okay. all right so mm-hmm. there's that hey let's get the babes in let's all bring right them on. jeff and ann jordan mm-hmm. let's give them a welcome all right, welcome, Jeff and Ann Jordan, as promised. Mm-hmm. You guys look great. It's good to see the babes. Mm-hmm. The babes are in the house. Babe. Babes of Babe Plumbing out of yeah. Mankato, Minnesota. That's oh, right. Yes. <laughs> welcome, you guys. Thank you. Oh, great Thanks to be here. Yeah. Well, we're super glad to have you here. So we brought the babes on for lots of reasons, right? Yes. Well, we just loved as we would send the intro. I just, I just love their story. Um, it, it's kind of a common story coming from a family business, a, you know, the small family business making the transition. Jeff deciding to, I'm going to try to pull that out. Jeff deciding to go his own way, yep. which I, I wonder I how that works on it. a family dynamic, mm-hmm. you yep. know, there. Mm-hmm. All right. So and how the, long has been, how yeah. long was um, Jordan plumbing? Cause it was Jordan plumbing before, right? Um, Correct. How how many years was Jordan Plumbing in business? Right. So Jordan Plumbing um, was started in 1982. So 38 years before we rebranded to Babe Plumbing. Right. Um, and nice. and so my my plumbing career basically started when I was 10 years old. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Richard, I installed my first water heater at the age of 12. Because, wow. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. So back to 1982 is when the business started. My dad started the business, ran it. Um, his way. Um, and, and then when we took over in 07, we continued doing it his way. Um, which we found out later is not the correct way <laughs> to run a business. Oh. Um, so that, you know, w- after meeting you folks, we, we did a lot of changes and, um, uh, and joined the business and things have been amazing ever since. Um, uh-huh. Well, and I was going to say, so the, you, he was, your dad was in business um, doing, I think it was residential or commercial or not residential. I'm everything. sorry. He was doing more everything, right? Everything. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, but he, he managed to have the business for, for that many years. Right. So um, just doing it in a different, you know, different model, if you will. And then when mm-hmm. you took over, you kind of kept doing it because it's what you knew, right? It's right. What you, you knew how to yeah. run a business. So what, what was the main um, plumbing service that you guys were doing? Yeah, Jordan. so we, like I said, we were doing every residential service, um, remodeling, new construction. We even did a little light commercial. Um, we did some heating, um, and we wanted to simplify things. And I kind of wanted to take things a different route, um, which was kind of a point of contention between my dad and I. Like, I wanted to run it a, a different way than he was, and he's like, "You can do whatever you want when you buy the business," <laughs> and um, and which we did, but okay. but not right away because right away when we took over in '07. It was, we we tr- trying to keep up with the status quo of what the way he was doing it. Like he ran a successful business or so we thought for 35 years and um, we thought we had to do it the same way. <laughs> and we found out pretty quickly that we weren't um, business owners. We were self-employed mm-hmm. and I we owned our job, the job owned us. Um, and yeah, we just knew it had to, had to change. Mm-hmm. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. So, mm-hmm. so Jeff, what was, what was a, a turning point or something, you know, you mentioned that you kind of wanted to run things a different way. What were you right. feeling or seeing or, you know, what, what happened? Yeah. So I, I was 
working my butt off and just not getting anywhere. <laughs> um, that was the turning point for me. I was like, I'm doing something wrong. I got to do, I got to change things up here a little bit. And I kind of in the back of my head knew. Um, so I, I reached out to different podcasts and um, I, I found Richard Bainey, <laughs> um, the, the most brilliant guy on earth. And, oh, <laughs> the, the, the check's in the mail, checks Jeff. In the mail right. in the mail. <laughs> it okay. literally changed. It, it just changed my life like almost instantly. Um, joining the Success Academy um, and, and, and saw it right away because I, I kind of joined the Success Academy on a whim, like, oh, we're just going to give it a shot and see what happens. And instantly we saw um, success. success. It really it, made me nervous too. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead, Ann. I was going to say it made me nervous because that commitment of being a part of the Success Academy was an expense that we honestly couldn't afford at that time, which is ridiculous because looking back, it was money that we couldn't afford not to pay, right? Mm -hmm. But instantly when Jeff joined, he started implementing those things that you guys suggested and looking at our honest hourly rate. And all of a sudden it was like, oh, we actually have money in the bank. Like we're mm -hmm. having success. We're doing things wrong or doing things right, finally, actually. And and I just was like, wow. And then I started watching Potty Talk Live with Jeff because I wanted to learn more and I wanted to help him succeed. And and you guys just got like us together wanting to do better for our family. And it all of a sudden became a group effort, which it never had been that before. So Jeff and was always I doing his own thing. Yeah, and I want to talk about that, Ann, um, because it was Jeff. Um, Jeff had had the business; he'd worked for his dad, right? And then yep. he, you guys took Jeff took over the business in '08, right? Is that what you said, Jeff? Oh, seven, oh eight. Okay, in no, '07. But Ann, you weren't a part of the business at that point, correct? I was no. not. No. So at the time, I was actually working for a wholesaler, a plumbing wholesaler, and so I knew actually quite a bit about plumbing, and I had worked kind of side by side with Jeff in a different capacity, but then. We had three children and I was trying to support and help our family in a different way. So I actually started a cleaning business because mm -hmm. it was a way for me to make a little money on the side, um, pay for those activities that, you know, were always, always there. Um, <laughs> the <kids. laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. But because the plumbing business wasn't really supporting all of the things that we needed, that was just a way for me to, to help our family. Mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't until we met you guys where you're like, you know what, Ann, you need to give that side hustle up and, you know, join forces with Jeff. And honestly, like when that actually finally happened, that was when everything started to finally that like was the real turning point. Yeah, it was the real turning point because we actually had the same vision. We were making goals to, to make our business better and doing it together. It was um and it's a real eye opener for for the both of us yeah so and, and i remember those times of talking with you guys and just for our audience um jeff and ann are, are um, private clients of ours and i remember what was it two years ago guys maybe yeah um, yeah a little yeah. over over yeah. two years okay um but yeah. that was a, a big thing of thinking of you know it and was, you kind of yes. leaving something that was yours and you know extra income all of those things for you to come along and join and i know one of your questions was well, <laughs> I don't know anything about plumbing and also what all am I going to do, right? What are all right. the things that I'm going to be doing? But you, I think you learned very quickly all the things that you needed to do. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, honestly, for me, it was financial stability. That was always my, my nervousness because we never really had that. And so I giving up something that I knew that I could do well and that was creating an income for us, it was really hard for me to do. And to be blatantly honest, at first, I didn't give up all of my clients. And that, that to me um, is a hard pill to swallow looking back because it, it kind of said, well, I, I wasn't all in. And it wasn't that I wasn't all in. It was just like you said, Laura, what am I all going to do? Oh, I could answer the phones and clean one house, you know? And so I, you know, kind of in the beginning allowed myself to kind of be half in, half out. And then I remember there was a turning point where we had a conversation and Jeff and Jeff kind of threw me under the bus and was like, hey, like Ann has, is, hasn't completely done everything. And, and at that moment, I realized like we were never going to keep moving forward if I kept trying to hold on to our past. Mm -hmm. And so I had Ooh. to give up that insecurity um, that that my cleaning was going to, you know, keep us stable. <laughs> like, right. I mean, how ridiculous mm -hmm. is that? Right. But that's that mindset that, um, you know. 
I didn't necessarily believe in what we were doing. And so once I was completely on board and we could start working and tackling all of the things that I had no idea we were going to start doing, that's too when we really started um, to do even better. So I remember I, that. Yeah, I know. I, I remember when Jeff threw you under the bus. And we went, what? What? <laughs> what in the I world? Know. But and but I also I, and Anne, thank you for being so transparent on that because that is a thing, right? Us us gals are we're wired for security. We we want to have security. So um, that's that's a totally normal and, and natural thing. Um, but once you did finally make the break, you you got rid of all the clients. You and Jeff just became this unified force and wow. you guys were together um on almost everything i mean not you guys aren't perfect and you have your little things every now and then but you guys all of a sudden just mm -hmm. became this 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 unit this right? force i like mm -hmm. the, the word you chose there mm -hmm. this force we could see it in working with you yeah. all, all of a yeah. sudden it was like it what it didn't just double in power mm -hmm. it's like it became a superpower right you know yep. you two and, together and i think part of it too so um i want to talk about the rebranding from jordan to babe plumbing um and, and the reason for babe and all that um but i i think that was the biggest part of it jeff and maybe you can um make, tell us how you feel or, or the decision that went into changing the name and then when you did you know what how did that affect um jordan plumbing before how did it affect your customers all the things so tell us about the transition for sure yeah so we we were very scared to make the change because we had been in business and had been known in the community for you know, 30 at this, this time, I guess, 38 years. Um, so we drug our feet for the longest time. I wish we would have done it right away. Oh, <laughs> wish we would have rebranded so sooner um, because it has made such a huge difference in our business. Um, we're more recognizable. Um, we look like a new company and, and we're we're more successful now than, than we were in the past as mm. Jordan Plumbing for the first 38 years. Wow. Uh, mm. And yeah, I wish we would have done it a, mm -hmm. a year sooner. Mm -hmm. um, well, our biggest holdback was his family, right? Like that was the biggest. We biggest we thought thing. that somehow that his parents were going to take this as a negative that we somehow didn't respect what they had built, mm -hmm. and that had nothing to do with it. And I think mm -hmm. you guys can attest to that and having that conversation with us that it was that Jordan meant something to us, but it didn't necessarily mean anything to our community, and that didn't take anything away from his parents and the oh. the business oh, that they oh, built. Oh, Mm -hmm. Put them down. We thought yeah. we were trashing the old family business. Yeah. But we weren't. We were making it bigger and better. Yeah. And we also wanted to make changes. So, like before, we had done all the things. We did new construction. We did remodeling. We did like commercial. And we wanted to solely focus on service. And so, you know, redefining what we wanted to do allowed us, you know, to do bigger and better things. Mm -hmm. And so that was also kind of a key turning point. But you know, coming up with the name was really quite difficult for us because it's like, you know, what 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 name suited us and, you know, where do you pull that? And you guys are really instrumental in that um, because, you know, we wanted to name it a different name. And I remember- What was it? I don't remember that. It was, um, hey, babe, or no, Blue oh, Ox. Sorry. Blue Ox, Blue that's Ox. right. Okay, yes, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and one of our meetings, Jeff had a t-shirt on that said, hey, babe. And you said, well, what about babe? And mm -hmm. And for the longest time, I was like, oh, you know, that is so cute. But, you know, I didn't want to be offensive or anything like that. But clearly we were naming it after the Blue Ox, right? And Well, hold on a second. Let's, so for people that don't know very well, because um, uh, Paul Bunyan was, you know, it's kind of old, you know, old, gosh, old back in tale. Uh, old tale, tale right. right. Um, yeah. So a lot of people may not know. So and I I believe um, here we're going to cut in a, um, a clip of of your logo and all that. But oh. Minnesota. Blue Ox, tell us about that just briefly so everybody understands why Babe and all that. Oh. So Paul Bunyan um, has his trusty ox. He's a lumberjack, you know, hardworking, um, but Babe is kind of his trusty sidekick, right? Mm -hmm. He's loyal, he's friendly, he's cute. We have like um, our little Minnesota mug here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is our, um, our logo, but you know, it's just kind of a, a tried and true symbol. Like everyone in our area knows who Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox are. Right. So when we Perfect. when we decided on Babe, it was more because he was the hardworking sidekick, right, of Paul Bunyan. And we want to be, oh, yes, all of the things, loyal, friendly, hardworking. 
Um, and that's what we consider ourselves to be to our customers, you know, so the name encompasses also all the things that we want to be for, for our customer base. Mm. So, you know, it was a perfect name, Laura, that you basically yeah. came up with. So thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. No, it was, it was yeah. a combination. And okay. they are a couple of babes. They are a couple of babes. There's you know, that too. You know, <laughs> that's universal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, how did it feel? Jeff and Ann, because you came into the business, how did it feel making that transition from Jordan Plumbing? Did, did it make you feel more like it was yours and, and that you were both involved? Did, did that seem to happen? It, it did. Um, like Ann uh, pointed out, that we kind of changed the the way we were doing business. We were solely focused on um, uh, residential service and um, upfront pricing and options and um, all it completely changed our business. So we, it was just perfect time to change the name too. Um, and yeah, we felt like this is something that we started and, um, to, I don't know if I should say this or not, but it, it seemed like our old Jordan plumbing customers are the toughest to work for now. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, and, and it is, it's, it's almost like we've started something. And like you said, and joined the business around the same time. And it's just like everything, like we created this. Right. We created I would say too, like before we would do the whole, like, We'll come out, we'll do the work, we'll send you a bill. And then, you know, we always had people that, that were complaining about the bill, right? And so recreating ourselves to Babe and, and giving them pricing and options up front allowed us to be more transparent with our customers, put, you know, options in their, you know, seat to like make the decisions that fit right for their families. And it just seemed to be honestly like this, like, oh, uh -huh moment where it was just like, we should have been doing this forever, you know, but it, what was holding us back was trying to keep up with the status quo of what his dad had done. And so when we do have a Jordan plumbing customer, previous customer that now is, is coming to babe, um, you know, th th oftentimes they do appreciate, you know, kind of the logistics, but oftentimes they also struggle because they were used to us just sending That's them right. a bill might be a month from now, month, might be two months from now, because he was so busy doing all of the work that, you know, the all of those sorts of things kind of got getting paid right. wasn't an option right. Right. it wasn't a high priority <laughs> right. right yes and so i think that was also like why we struggled so much was because he was so solar focused on the work and not necessarily getting paid for the work mm -hmm. so now you know not only are we getting paid for the work but you know we're not having to yeah run after money you know right. and and that was that's huge. The that's, that is totally yeah. huge. One thing I want to say too about um, Babe and transition. You guys, um, and we talk about this all the time when we have um, episodes on branding. You've got to pick something that really represents your area really well. And I think Babe Plumbing and Babe the Blue Ox is one of the mm -hmm. most perfect ones of, of any of the clients that that we've had mm -hmm. because it represents, like you said. I mean, you've got a mug right there with the Blue Ox on it, right? How, right. how many people in Rhode Island have that, right? Yeah. I mean, right. They just don't. Right. But it, <laughs> but it means something to to you and your community, so that it makes it stand out and it's very familiar year right and so that's one of the geniuses behind having the blue ox yeah and i love how everything looks i know you guys you, you've gone different levels with it i mean you even sponsor the local um baseball team yes which so, the names again are the moon dogs the moon dogs, dogs. that's right the moon dogs so they have got a suite at the moon dogs um stadium in mankato no it's what triple whatever right it's a feeder team for feeder, right right one but it's yeah. it's big in your community, right? In the summer, Absolutely. especially in Minnesota, when the summer's there, everybody's outside, right? right. Automate your company's day-to-day -day scheduling, dispatching, and billing systems with Service Titan. Service Titan is the world's leading all-in-one field management software for home service businesses looking to improve efficiency and profitability. Just ask Potty Talk listeners who have made the move to Service Titan. Not only have they saved thousands by eliminating time spent on profit-sucking manual tasks, but they now have scalable processes in place to help grow their business for years to come. To check them out and to take advantage of special discounts for Potty Talk listeners, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash service titan. Right. So yeah. you now you're, you've got this beautiful suite Which that's so there. cool. It's all babed out. Yeah, all babed you know? out. So ho hopefully we'll cut some pictures in of that as well. Yeah. Um, we'll get that yeah. as well. Um, yeah, and yeah, the ball field. I, yeah, we've got to it. visit there in the summer. Well, yeah. it's the only time we'd go to Minnesota. Well, we've been telling right? him we need to get up there. <laughs> right. And, <hopefully. laughs> right. and you know, the crazy thing behind that story, Laura and Richard, was 
the year before we rebranded, I think we had went to our first MDP retreat. And after we got back, we were sitting, we actually were given some seats for another company that we do a lot of work with to go sit at a game. And they had like a little round table with four seats. And, and we went to this game and Jeff and I were sitting there and we're like, we want to be here next year in some capacity. And we never dreamed that it would be a suite, right? We just thought, oh, we'll have, you know, our banner or maybe we'll buy one of the little tables like we're sitting at right now. And the next year, we're literally one of the major sponsors. And the pride that we have in that is uh, like, it's, I can't even touch it, you know, because right. we go yeah. there and, you know, every picture that's taken, our name is in the background. And it is one of the only family events that people in our community can really go and enjoy in our area. Um, and so, you know, the youth of our community has a very like big place in our heart. And so sure. we'd like to give back to that. So it's just, it's nice that, you know, not only did we find a way to be there, but we are like the biggest You're there. Thing. You're yeah, there, right? right? See, right. <laughs> I, go ahead, baby. Well, I think the, the, the pride that you give to the community. Yeah. You know, it's not just a plumbing company. Right. We talk about this all the time, right? It, it ain't, ain't about, about plumbing. plumbing. <laughs> and yeah. so here, I mean, you, you know, you've invested in your community, not only with, with your service, but in, you know, entertainment mm -hmm. and making it look enjoyable and fun. And so, I mean, when I, when, guys, when I, say that, you know, they're, they're sweet, there's, there's only like three suites at the, you it's, know, Yeah, it's there. pretty small, right? Because right. it's not a, Yep. Right. Yeah. And they're big and, and it's, and it's, it's all gorgeous. baved out and it looks cool. Mm -hmm. It makes everything look really, really nice. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so the pride that you've given to the community, yes, I, I think is just awesome. One thing I want know. to say too, um, yes, it was, you, you bought into a plumbing business and it had been around for years. Um, and so people can hear this and they go, Oh well, man, they, they must've got an awful lot of money to be able to, to re to hire coaching, to rebrand, to get a, a baseball suite, right? right? They must've had this huge amount of money. They were that was swimming in cash. Swimming oh, in cash, <laughs> right? There's no snowmobiling in cash. We'll right, say that, right? Right? Um, and that's not the case. No, that was not the case. Yes. So it's it's all it's all um, choices that you guys made and and willing to take the risk, right? Um, you guys want to speak to that a little bit? Yeah, it, absolutely. It's, it's you got to be willing to jump in the ring, as you would say. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just to join the Success Academy, it was we had to scrape some money together to to do it. But looking back, you can't afford not to do it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we had we were living paycheck to paycheck, or oh. sometimes even worse. Job sometimes I would live job to job. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah. we had three kids to feed, so yeah, there was no piles of money that we were snowmobiling around in. <laughs> no, we wish. Uh, Although, I mean, you would never have looked at us and thought we didn't have no. any, any money, but like, we just, we were really good at hiding it. And then to like, even like speak to like going to private coaching for us, it was like, it was something that we wanted to do, but we weren't, we weren't ready. Well, we were ready to talk to you guys and we were ready to pull the trigger on it. But like it was the whole fear of like putting the money ahead of like what it would bring us. Right. And so I'll never forget. We met with you guys in August and we, our plan was that we, by the beginning of the next year, we were going to be private coaches or private clients. And I think in that month's time frame, Jeff and I were like, you know what? No, we're just going to do it. And so Jeff called your, um, the gal that um, your assistant and was like, you know, we're ready to pull the trigger. Like we want to be private clients. And at that time, your assistant said, oh, we just filled the spot. And Jeff and I were so deflated. And we're like, no, we finally I remember. Made I remember. Yeah. And, and it might've been Matt and Sarah Delney. What, they took our spot? Yeah. Oh, the oh, Delney took your spot. That sound like Matt Delney. Yes. <laughs> but at the time Crazy. we were so deflated. And then Richard reached out to Jeff and was like, we love you guys so much we want to help you. Like we're, we're creating a spot for you. And like that to us, like even fueled our ambition that much more because, you know, we knew that you had the faith in us that we could, you know, turn this around. And so the heart, there, there was well, something about you guys. There was something, there was something. Yeah. You're going to get, you're going to get me all, you know, <laughs> emotional here. Uh, I, well, I, I remember that now. Mm -hmm. And what it says about what we saw in you and what we see is that, uh, we appreciate the kind words you've been mentioning, like the Success Academy and what we've done for you. Oh. But like we say, you guys made the move and we right. could see you guys doing the stuff and working at it. 
and that that makes it easy to coach. I mean, okay, we we, we got to get them in and give them the equations oh. and give them the stuff because they're going to be successful right. because we just up, gotta... up here, up here, and in here, they're, they're they're all about it. Right. Let's do it. Yeah. And so we did. Took, yeah, I, so I remember, remember we had that now. conversation. <laughs> let's take the extra. T- yeah, let's do it. Something about those Minnesota yeah, yeah. Minnesota couple. <laughs> yes. You guys right. are the best. Oh, I you, well, we're so you know we're so proud of you guys because we know it's tough. You know we kind of. It was tough. We know how hard it was for you to make that transition from the family business. We know you weren't swimming in or, you know, <laughs> snow beeling in cash. And you said we, we all were there, you know, for the first four or five years of our plumbing business, we were job to job, paycheck oh, to yeah. paycheck. Yeah. We had Every the house, mattered. we had the house, we had the minivan, we, we had three kids, yeah. you know, so we know what we're talking and a lot of people we're talking to right now yep. are doing just that. Mm-hmm. And it's, yeah. it's getting to where it's not. And I think you've made reference to this. You basically owned your job. You know, uh-huh. you weren't, you didn't have it. You weren't creating this, this. You didn't have an asset that was creating wealth, which yeah. is financial wealth and time wealth. Right. right? right. And so what, you know, and, and now you, you, you did the, you, you, you took the steps, you, you did the, the risk, you know, yeah. the, you conquered your fears. Everybody's afraid. And oh. that's what we, that's what we love. You know, that we saw in you guys and we, we continue to see. Uh-huh. And, and Another so, thing you guys did too, you stepped outside the norm of a normal plumbing business, right? You don't right. have on call, you don't have, um, you don't work weekends. Which was scary because you were doing all that before, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. It, it's, um, it has been a game changer because Jeff, I mean, he would take any opportunity to work, you know, so he was never at holidays. He was never at family functions. You know, it was a constant, you know, if someone called, he was out working and to like put that mindset aside too, and be like, you know what, we don't have to do that in order to make ends meet has been also mind blowing because now we actually get to spend time together. I mean, we, we've always spent a lot of time together. Don't get me wrong. But that's more important than money. Right. And having this, getting to do this together and enjoy the family and the vacations and the oh. holidays together. Yeah. Yes. And you're able to do that for your staff as well. Right. So right. Your, your staff doesn't work on call. They don't all, all no. the things that that most guys, you know, when they start out, think this, we, we've got to do this. Right. Because we're a plumbing yeah. company. We've got to be 24 seven and all the things. So that's the other thing, too, that I want to uh, make sure we get the point across that their business is successful and it's growing and it's doing that by just doing residential service. Yeah. And not doing any on call weekends, nights, holidays, none of those things. So, so that is, it is possible. Right. And, and babe has oh, proved it. So. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you yeah. defied everyone who said you were crazy, which yeah. I know we had those conversations. <laughs> right. uh, which is funny because most of the people that think we're crazy are our competitors. Right. right. And right. you know, who cares what they think, you know, right. you know, when we first switched to babe, you know, Jeff got all sorts of looks like, oh, what are you doing? What are you thinking? You know, oh, you know, babe, plumbing, woohoo, you know, and it, it was almost kind of comical because in our area, no one has a great brand. And, and it's, I don't know, I'm not trying to be boastful here, but, you know, everyone says to us like, oh, we see your trucks everywhere. Are you a franchise? You know, and it's, we take pride in the fact that we're a local family business, but at the same time, sometimes it's like, Dan Antonelli who, from Kick Charge Creative, who did our brand, like he did such a great job, right? So Absolutely. people just insinuate that we're some big, huge, multi-billion dollar company and we're like, right. or that we got bought out or that we sold out. And it's like, nope, we actually created Babe Plumbing. Like we went through the process. We got to design how Babe, or, well, not we personally, but we got to critique oh, and sure. make the changes to what Babe ultimately looked like, what the colors were, you know? And so there's a lot of pride in that. And so I don't want someone to take it away because they think that we just got bought out by some big right. franchise. Like, no, this is our baby. Like mm-hmm. we created this, the world. Yes. Well, um, and it's, it, you've got a great local brand, right. And, um, but it's still family, um, family owned. Well, one of and, my favorite pictures I've seen yeah. on, you, you put out there socially and I think even see in your, you know, your website and stuff is you guys with the kids, yeah. your kids, the, you oh. know, the beautiful family. By They're all the, babed out. So it's obviously it's a family <laughs> business, mm-hmm. you know, but it looks, yeah you know, it's all babed out, right? right? It mm-hmm. just looks so cool. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. Yes. So, uh, yes. And one thing too, that I yeah. love to touch on is our kids are super proud of it too. Like, uh, you know, who has a 13 and two 11 year olds that are 
proud of their their parents plumbing business you know like you would think that they would be embarrassed by that like <laughs> oh my dad's a plumber he plays with da 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 you know <laughs> like all the jokes right <laughs> yep. and and they they wear our sweatshirts and our t-shirts and mm -hmm. and our hats and they're so proud and every day you know Jeff picks our oldest up from school in his plumbing truck which um you know looks quite amazing I will say but <laughs> having them be proud of us too is is so amazing because I course. Yeah. And they, they definitely see the things that we've done and are proud of, of everything that we've created as well. And we've included them in a lot of that as well to what capacity they're, uh, you know, capable, but sure. It's, it's a nice. family business. Yeah. It's a family yeah. business. Right. And, and right. you know, again, we've got a husband and wife that, that work together and you guys can attest to that. You just don't turn it off at five o'clock, right? It, it's a part of your lives and that's okay for the kids to see that as well. Um, because it, it is a family business and it's, it's the family needs to understand the, the dynamics of what goes into a family business and all that. So, um, there's no such thing as turning it off at five o'clock nope. the minute you walk back in the door, right? Nope. <laughs> and it kind of becomes a hobby as well. I mean, it's, it's, it's other than your kids, it's your biggest point of interest together and done right. It can be something you actually enjoy doing, yeah. right? That's so. we, we love it. We enjoy it. We, we never want to stop talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and yeah, going back to uh, jumping into the ring, uh, I was going to say, if it was easy, if anybody would do it. Um, it's not easy, especially with the family dynamic uh, thrown in there, <laughs> but um, it, it can happen and it's worth it. Yeah. And, and they're a testament to that. Yeah, I love sure. it. With, with um, investing, right? It takes investment, it takes risk, all of those things, but with risk comes reward. So. Right, That's exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Hey, well, before I let you go, just want to get, you know, we're talking, you know, we're talking to other, um, you know, plumbing business owners. Some may be coming from the family or they're doing it themselves. Uh, maybe a couple just like, like PPC, you guys. Plumbing a power PPC, couple. Yep. Already in it. And so, you know, that's who we're speaking to guys. Mm -hmm. what, what's some advice. I'm kind of throwing it at you, right. You know, quickly, what, what, what mm -hmm. what's, what's a piece of advice that you could give to that couple or to that, that plumber or that, mm -hmm. that guy that's working in the family plumbing business, um, whatever comes to mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, don't be afraid to make changes. Um, if you see a vision, stick to it. Um, and, and like I said, we were afraid to make the changes on, on the name change. And um, we were afraid what the family's going to think. And um, don't be afraid. It's now it's your business. You do what you want to do with it. Um, uh, having a having a strategy in place too um, is key. <laughs> we, we never did when we bought it. And I wish we would have. And if we ever turn this over to our sons or daughter um we would definitely have something in place for that but um that's what years down the road <laughs> yeah. but just, just not to be afraid just uh, take it over as your own and, and especially if it, if you're a husband and wife you, you have the same why um in mind and you just keep going the same direction um and never lose sight of that vision yeah love that, that to touch yeah. on that but. no and knowing your wife that jeff um, brought that up knowing, knowing your why you guys knowing your why together why do we have this plumbing business what do we want it to bring us right we talk about that all the time yes. um and on potty talk and in the success academy about you got to know because if not you're just falling day by day week month year blah 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 right you got to know yes. the reason and that's one of the reasons you guys um decided we want to brand ourselves we want to have it to be our own we we don't want to work nights and weekends because we don't want jeff gone anymore so if we don't want jeff gone on holidays and weekends we don't want that for our staff either so that's knowing your why definitely yes well right. i would say for myself too like yeah. speaking to like the woman's side like if you're thinking about you know joining your husband and you know leaving your career honestly it has been nothing you know but amazing things for Jeff and I. And I think I attested to this um, in, in a different video, but when we're good, like everything else seems to be good. And when we focus on each other um, and all of the, the positives that our relationship brings mm -hmm. to our business and to our family, you know, we have succeeded tenfold. And prior, you know, when we were doing our own things, like, you know, we were making it by, you know, we were happy, like we had happy kids. But now that we're working together and we're doing, you know, everything basically side by side, like, I feel like we're unstoppable. And at one point in time, like I said earlier in this podcast <laughs> that, you know, I kind of was doing 50-50, you know, and I wasn't being true to what 
Jeff and I's vision was. And there is so many things that you can do and, and like grow your business and make it better. But if you're not all in, you're, you're not going to succeed, you know, yeah. because ultimately like, that's like you saying like, oh, you know, uh, well, 50% do better. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, It's burning yeah. the ships, yep. burn the ships, burn the ships, right? Yeah. Yeah. Burn it. Go all yeah. in. Like, don't worry about the money. Cause that was always something that I worried about. And when I put my faith and trust in Jeff and, mm -hmm. and us together, it, it all has worked out, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah. Love that. That's the nugget of gold right there. That's it right there. And it came from Ann. Of course <laughs> it did. Of course it came from Ann. Uh, no, no, not that it didn't come from you, Jeff. I was just saying. <laughs> just more experience there. Yes. Yes. And I want to say to anybody that's that's listening, any plumbers that's listening, and you, ever, you live in Mankato or around the Minneapolis area, guys, it's a great company to work for. Or if you've ever thought, you know what, I've always wanted to move to Mankato, Minnesota, and I'm a plumber. Well, then reach out to, to Jeff and yeah. love to love to talk to you can't yeah. get a better company to work for so. definitely yeah yep. so sweet thanks for yeah. that oh guys thank you so much for taking the time i know you guys are busy and when you're not busy you'd much rather be doing your own thing but thank you for <laughs> taking the time to uh to be on potty talk and we always love talking with you guys oh, so, it's our pleasure thank, thank, thank you for sharing yeah all and right. thanks for sharing your story, guys. We really do appreciate it. Yep. But there's people out there that are going to resonate with it and go, you know what? Wow. If they can do it, we can do it. The babes can do it. We, <laughs> we can, can do, do it. it. That's right. <laughs> so, that's right. That's the truth right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Again, thanks. All thanks, right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we love you guys. All right. Oh, me too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. All right, there we go. The Jordans, the babes, as we like to call them. <laughs> that was and a great Jordan. interview. You know, I really loved how transparent they were um, with a number of things, right? The, the transition of going from a family-owned business for a number of years to their own and, and making that leap and, and all that was involved. But all, one of the things I love about them is they, how well they really do work together. Yes, um, yes. And it didn't come easy, they, they, but they work at it. And they are certainly a successful plumbing power couple, for sure, because they, they take the... They take chances, but then also they work really hard at having a, a good working relationship as well as a great marriage. Yeah, so. definitely. And we kind of kind of said that with the idea that we, you know we brought them on or whatever. We took them on the time because we could see it in them. You right. know, they had it. They had it in their heads yes. and in their hearts. The mindset, guys. And, and then and then we, and it makes it easy. It's, you know, well, it's not easy, but it makes yeah. it's more simple. Because then now you can take the equations and figuring out your honest hourly rate and mm -hmm. your flat rate taskmaster and all the right mark and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But you got to have it in your head and your heart. Yep. To want to do it and they did it together they did it all right okay. hey on that note if you do have it in your in your head and in your heart <laughs> that you want to take your plumbing business to the next level you you have this vision just just like uh, the jordans did, had had this vision all right hey we want to have a, a, a conversation with you so you can schedule your your free strategy call with us simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call call c-a-l-l -L. right and we'll have a little conversation yeah. all right mm -hmm. yeah. and also there should be there's a link um somewhere whatever um, however you're listening to it there should be a link somewhere um directly to that that page so all right so there we go okay hey but before we let you go as always we want to remind you that you are purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things so plumb like a champion Bye.